Hello, Corner Customizers. Wow. We are blurry today, aren't we? There we go. Focus. 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 Anyway, for those of you out there in Internet land, I know you have probably seen my video where I talk about making your own Lightspeed Rescue Morpher. Why are you so out of focus? Focus on my face. Right here. There's my hand. See my hand coming back to my face. Whatever. Blurry cam today. Um, I'm doing this off of my webcam because my webcam is HD and I don't feel like setting up my tripod for what is essentially a informative video. So everyone knows what this is, right? It's a Gaia memory. The battery is dead in it, that's why it doesn't make sounds. I haven't reviewed, I don't believe I've reviewed this on my channel because it came as part of my core metal set and it's my only Gaia memory. The memory memory. Anyway, as I was looking at this and my lovely, lovely light speed morpher and its various parts, I came to realize something rather interesting that I figured I would share with my lovely viewing audience. Now, obviously, I haven't been able to make an update video on this, because, as I have said previously, I've managed to uh, blow out the circuitry a couple of times in my test programming, and one reason I don't want to share my video is because I don't want people to blow out their own. I want to make all the mistakes and then share with you the end result. But the end result is something like this. Obviously, I can have a second speaker in there as well. Well, that would basically be the guts of the Lightspeed Morpher. It's a bunch of Adafruit products. Uh, I will provide links in the description when this video is no longer live. That's pretty much all the components that you would need to make your own Lightspeed Power Morpher. And interestingly enough, these same components can be used to make your own Gaia memory. As you can see here, the battery pack, and I, I want the larger battery pack because I'm going with the light speed morpher, you can always go with a slimmer battery pack, easily fits within the Gaia memory frame. Obviously you'd have to make one out of cardboard or 3D print your own, but you can see that it easily will fit in here, with, even width-wise, if you were to stack all these things. You have more than enough space in here. Put all these same components in here, including the LED thing for the bottom here, and you can make your own Gaia memories the exact same technology and thing. All you have to do is trigger one of the buttons to be here, put one of the buttons here, and of course one of the buttons needs to be here. Three buttons, just like on my Lightspeed Power Morpher. And you can make your own. Do we finally have focus? We have finally have focus. But yeah, you can make your own Gaia memory. All the same products. Thought I'd share that with everyone. Obviously, until I have some money come in, I can't actually do live demos of this, making your own Gaia memory. But I thought people might find that of interest. It's the exact same process. You'd get all your components, plug it in through a USB cable, and then load it up with um, a button press, setting a T0, 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 T01, T02. And that would be your three buttons for, you know, regular press, driver, maximum drive. And you're good to go. You can get the sounds, of course, easily enough from anywhere on the internet. And basically, yeah. Um, I don't actually have any lock seeds, so I can't see how practical in terms of size matching, making your own lock seed would be. I expect it'd be the same. If anyone happens to have a spare lock seed of any kind, really, it was willing to send it to me, send me a PM. Obviously a DX would work best because then I can take a look at the lighting and figure out the logistics of the lighting. But really any will do. But yeah, if you want to make your own memory, Gaia memory, or if you want to make your own Lightspeed Rescue Morpher or any other number of Toku toys with their own lights and sounds, this collection of parts will is pretty much all you would need for pretty much any toy product you will want. Now the price point is what? 
thirty to fifty dollars, something like that. And you need to know do, do you need to know a little bit about electronics and do a little bit of soldering. But of course, once I have gotten my replacement parts and I've gotten a little bit of money in so I can buy those replacement parts, I will do a full video showing you how to put everything together and not blow out your system. I suspect the reason I was blowing it out my first two runs with this is that I had a full set of wires running along that side so it sat flush and that meant that it had pin connections to uh, reset all 10 buttons 11 buttons actually um, act and ground which caused it to blow out because it was get, it was trying to send signals to everything um, I suspect it would work fine now if I hadn't done that which is why I've removed them all from this side of the pin board because it actually works perfectly fine when I'm not trying to put it on the breadboard. The only reason I'm putting it on the breadboard is so that I don't have a bunch of loose parts floating around inside of my case when I put it inside of the light speed morpher. That's really about it. That was the only reason I put it on the breadboard. If I had a light speed morpher made out of a... Uh, if I had a 3D printed light speed morpher that I could, had proper mountings for all the various screw holes on this, I'd be fine without trying to ghetto my way through it, as the saying goes. So, that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This little how-to on how to make your own, or the logic of how to make your own Gaia memory. I'll see you all in the future. Peace out.